Hey guys, my name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to be doing a new set of tutorials for people that are new to Photoshop. I've got a lot of Lightroom users that visit my blog and they've asked me via email to please do some tutorials for people that want to start working with Photoshop that are Lightroom users. You know, Lightroom does a lot of great things and it's a wonderful program because it's non destructive. Whatever you do to your raw files, just written to an XMP file, like a just like a recipe card, and it just applies it to that so you can view those adjustments on your screen, or it'll print your picture out with all those adjustments. When you go to Photoshop, you can do a whole bunch of things. You can work with video, you can work with text and effects, and I mean, you can just start from nothing and start drawing with Photoshop. Matter of fact, let's just start with that so you can understand layers. So to create a new layer, we're going to hit this. Uh, new layer icon and it creates a blank layer now this is locked by default so you can't adjust it but you can duplicate it so we hit control J or command J to duplicate it or you can just drag it down there and create it okay so delete that and let's hide these two layers so Photoshop basically is just a pixel manipulation software that's what it does let's grab our paintbrush tool and say we want to select this layer up here that's on top and we can just start painting we can do whatever we want to it and we're not affecting the layer below okay it's like a transparency on the overhead projector whatever you do on one layer it overlays the layer beneath it okay so that means we could change the opacity of this if we have the layer below turned on and this effect is minimal so we could use it to create a vignette let's control Z or undo and say if we wanted to just do a paintbrush and we do a simple vignette, which means darken the edges, we could just paint black around the edges of this photograph. This isn't a real fancy vignette. And we could just drag the opacity down until it's dark enough. Okay, we can change this and just kind of paint however we want. And now we've got a vignette, right? Even though it's terrible, it's a vignette. It's non-destructive. We haven't changed the pixels underneath and it's what we consider to be a non-destructive workflow. Let's go ahead and delete that. I'm going to give you two examples. One is destructive and one is non-destructive. Say we come up here. We'll turn our background layer on. Say we come up here and we add a, a adjustment layer. Okay. Remember what we said. Whatever's on top affects everything underneath. So if we adjust our exposure, say maybe we adjust it down. Okay. It can be turned on and off. We haven't manipulated the pixels on the layer below, so we're fine. We're non-destructive. When you use these adjustment layers, it gives you a layer mask, which means that you can hide what's happened. If you paint with the black paintbrush, you can get rid of everything. So if we just do that, we'll grab our black paintbrush. We'll come down here and we'll click this little arrow to flip it. We'll just paint over everything, and we'll just get rid of all of that exposure adjustment on the image where we underexposed it because we're going to hide it with the layer mask. See, it's all in black now. So, this is non destructive workflow. Let's delete that layer. Here's a destructive workflow. If we come over here and we choose image adjustments, and we're still going to work with exposure, okay? Say so if we want to underexpose now, we click OK. We've actually destroyed the pixels on that layer because whatever you do to this layer via adjustments here actually changes the pixels on that layer. So we go back to exposure and maybe we turn it back up or we say image auto color or image auto tone or image auto color or just actually changing the color. You can see that. We've done like six or seven things to, or five or six things to that layer, and it's changed forever. It's not like this anymore. You don't want to work that way, okay? You want to work non-destructively every chance you can. That's it. Just remember, Photoshop is about working non-destructively, just like Lightroom, and allows you to manipulate pixels in a stacked order, like an overhead projector does with transparencies. We'll get into specific tools and workflows but just play with it play with the layers and play with non-destructive and destructive adjustments because if you work non-destructively you can do whatever you want to it because basically even though we did manipulate those pixels and killed it we can always 
delete that layer and we haven't destroyed the background layer because we left it as our safety net. So in the long run, it is non-destructive if you work by not unlocking this background layer by double clicking and clicking OK. Now we can manipulate things on this layer and destroy those pixels, which you don't want to do. I want to thank you all for taking time to visit today. Until next time, we'll see you soon.